One of the things that is really important in SharePoint, it's obviously the backup. So I think a few months back, I made a video for SharePoint 2010, uh, perform uh, the backup through the GUI. But uh, today I'm going to make a video on SharePoint 2013, and uh, we are going to perform the backup using PowerShell. So the beginning of the process, it, it's the same. You have to create your folder. So I'm on my SQL server, which is also my, my DC server. And I'm just going to go to computer and just create a new folder. I'm going to call this SharePoint 2013 backups. Backups. Now I need to share this folder with my SP farm because my SP farm is going to perform the backup. I'm going to change the rights and put read and write and click share. So you may want to uh, take note of the path there because we are going to use it after. And I'm just going to click done. I'm going to switch over to my SharePoint server. And I'm going to open Windows PowerShell. So I like to use uh, the ISC because you have so much more features on this, uh, so much better than the, the console itself. So I'm just going to go back to the C and clear that up. Uh, all right. So because I'm not using the SharePoint management shell, I need to add the snap in. So add PS snap in. Microsoft.SharePoint.PowerShell. Right, so the snapping is now added. Uh, right, so now we need to perform the backup. So we have backup, and as soon as you put, uh, if I can spell that right, yep, backup, SP, and I'm going to perform a farm backup, so backup SP farm. Then we are going to um, put the directory, which is the path um, where we are going to put the backup. So if I can remember correctly, it's going to be on DC SQL. And then we have it in there. So the backup folder. Now we need to choose the method. That we're going to use so backup method and this is going to be full now you can stop there if you want and just press enter and the backup will will run but what i'd like to do is i'd like to add a few more things because i like to see what's going on so i'm going to add the variables and i'm going to add the percentage because i like to see um uh, exactly what's going on and we are going to force it so now we have the full command which is backup sp farm then you have to put the directory in here and what type of uh, backup method do you need uh, so we're going to use the full because that is actually my first backup and then we're just going to add a um, few parameters uh, to see what's going on. I'm just going to press enter and the fact that you have the variables, you can see exactly where um, the process is in. So because it's going to take a while, I'm just going to pause the video and we'll come back at the end. Right, so after several minutes, the backup has now completed. So I can see I have no warnings, no errors, and everything went uh, smoothly. So that's really good. So we are just going to check over uh, the backup uh, inside the folder. So I have the backups in there, and here I have my backup. So what you can do is you can create an over folder and put uh, this in this new folder and just name it so you know where you stand or you can um, just try to organize everything uh, to make sure everything is dated um, and so yeah basically uh, that's it everything went smoothly and um, and then you have your your full backup